Welcome to Making Music in Montessori. My name is Michael. Today I want to give you some book recommendations for your classroom library. Now, the books I want to mention today do not constitute an exhaustive list of books that you can have in your music library. For an exhaustive list, you can check out the book Making Music in Montessori in Chapter 3. But for right now, I just want to show you some highlights of our classroom music library. One of the first books I want to show you is a book by Jen Bryant called Music for the End of Time. It's about the composer Olivier Messiaen and his adventures in a prison camp during World War II. This is a wonderful story. It's very inspiring. Then I want to recommend a series of beautifully illustrated books by Anna Harwell Colenza that tells engaging stories about popular uh, pieces of classical music. For example, this is the pictures of an exhibition. We have the Farewell Symphony by Haydn and the Danse Macabre by Camille Sanson. I want to take this moment to issue a formal apology to Miss Calenza because in my book I misspell her name. <laughs> uh, so I apologize, Miss Calenza. Her name is spelled C E L E N Z A, not C A L E N Z A. Speaking of series of books, this is a wonderful series by Mike Venezia, the Getting to Know the World's Greatest Composers series. This is basically a wealth of cosmic stories about different composers, from Igor Stravinsky to Bach, to Copeland, to the Beatles, Duke Ellington, all kinds of wonderful composers are, are featured. And the cartoons in the book, as you can see, are quite funny and quite engaging. Speaking of cosmic stories, this book is called Lives of the Musicians, Good Times, Bad Times, and What the Neighbors Thought. <laughs> it's by Kathleen Kroll and Katherine Hewitt. The nice thing about this book is it explores different musical styles. You have musicians ranging from Stephen Foster to Clara Schumann to Woody Guthrie. If you want a nice broad brush survey of musicians and musical instruments and the history of music, check out the Kingfisher Young People's Book of Music. One of the composers I love to expose to children is Eric Satie because of his whimsical compositions and his colorful music and his fun titles and his, his whimsical outlook toward life. This is a book called Strange Mr. Satie by uh, M.T. Anderson and Petra Mathers, and it's one of my favorite books. The illustrations are beautiful. You should check this one out. Another broad brush survey kind of book is The Story of the Orchestra by Robert Levine. This book is wonderful. It comes with a CD, it has excerpts from famous bits of classical music, and it talks not only about musical instruments, but it talks about musical eras and singles out a few different composers. This is a great book for studying the orchestra and for research. The Carnival of the Animals is a classic for children, and this is a book about the Carnival of the Animals. Again, beautiful, bright, colorful illustrations. This book is by Barry Carson Turner and Sue Williams, and it's called Carnival of the Animals by Sanson. Fictional stories that are inspired by music are also great selections to have in your music library. For example, this is a story called Because. Uh, it's The premise of this story is that because a composer 200 years ago wrote down some notes, a young girl in contemporary times is inspired to become a conductor and a composer herself. In the book Making Music in Montessori and on this channel, I talk a lot about making sound stories as follow-up ideas for children. Well, don't forget about the ultimate sound story, probably the original sound story, Sergei Prokofiev's Peter and the Wolf. Now, here are some books for you to have as a reference. This is a valuable book, 101 Music Games for Children by Jerry Storms. This book is chock full of fun little music games that you can do during transitions, that you can do out on the playground, that you can do in your classroom during the gathering. This is a wonderful book. If you're looking for a folk song collection, I recommend two authorities on the subject, 150 American Folk Songs and Sail Away. This one's by Peter Erde, and this one is by Eleanor G. Locke. I couldn't live without these two books. For a collection of rounds and canons, I recommend 150 Rounds by Edward Bolkovac and Judith Johnson, and not just because that's my mother's name. And I don't want to leave out My Singing Bird, 150 Folk Songs. This book is recommended by the Kodai Society of America. What's great about these three collections is that not only do they have the songs notated, they also have the singing game dance instructions along with the music, and each book indexes the songs by melodic elements, rhythmic elements, and other considerations. Of course, don't forget to stock in your music library books about composers of different genders, nationalities, sexual orientations, and music from different cultures. A great example is Women Composers by Diane Peacock Jezik. Also, a great book about African American women composers is From Spirituals to Symphonies by Helen Walker Hill. Then there is Music of the People of the World by William Alvis, a book put out by Hal Leonard called Music of Our World, which contains lots of folk songs and singing games from all around the world. Then I highly recommend the World Atlas of Musical Instruments. And finally, check out the Norton Grove Dictionary of Women Composers. And of course, may I humbly recommend a book called Making Music in Montessori by some guy named Michael Johnson. 
This book is a Swiss army knife of music education resources. It's got cosmic stories, it has a folk song collection, it has a wealth of songs and games and activities that children can do for follow-up and for skill building, and it has lots of advice about how to set up your classroom, it's got music theory, it's a smorgasbord. And you can get a copy at the link below. Well, that's all I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and hit that bell for notifications for when future videos come up. And as always, have a great time making music in Montessori. See you in the next one.